Our second story out front, the VP pageant. A parade of potential Romney VPs took center stage today at a meeting of conservatives in Illinois. Here they are. Barack Obama's leadership is driving this business, the United States of America, towards a fiscal cliff. We can't afford another four more years of this administration. Let's look at the record. 40 months of unemployment over 8.1 percent. That may be the best that Barack Obama can do, but that is not the best that America can do. All right, a new poll just out from the Conservative Political Action Conference shows. Here it is. Drum roll. Florida Senator Marco Rubio is the favored VP pick with 30 percent of the vote. New Jersey's Governor Chris Christie was second with 14 percent. Rand Paul came in, uh, um, as you can see, fourth. Paul Ryan, though, was third at 9 percent. Other notables that have been mentioned as possible running mates are Ohio Senator Rob Portman, South Dakota's John Thune, and former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. Obviously, you can see they didn't make the list there uh, for those who voted. Now, that conservative caucus obviously tends to go uh, very conservative. But the big question is not just who Mitt Romney will choose, but when. Out front tonight, Anna Navarro and Roland Martin. Um, Roland, no, last time around, I'm just thinking everybody making their choice and how they, you know, they always wait until the conventions. I mean, what's the strategy here? I mean, you get a lot of benefit from the speculation game, but when's the right moment for him to make the choice? Well, the right moment is exactly when they normally choose it. That is right before the convention. Because, again, the more time you give folks in the media, that means a lot more stories, a lot more drama. You want to shrink the window, if you will. Uh, and so to think about this poll, look, first of all, what we didn't say, 520 people voted. Boy, that's a really huge number of folks uh, voting on this choice. And so if you look at the people who are at the bottom, Aaron, those are likely the people Mitt Romney is likely to consider versus those people who are at the top uh, of this actual vote. And are you surprised? I mean, you know, okay, I could say Marco Rubio, obviously a favorite of conservatives, Rick Santorum, other people on that list. But Chris Christie, everyone criticizes, you know, he's got the most liberal, uh, conservative gun laws in the country. Uh, he is, he, the guy's considered a liberal by a lot of conservatives. He is, uh, but he is also a, uh, a great name for Republicans. He's a fun guy. He says things as it is. He's got that New Jersey brashness, if you will. That's I think uh, I'm not surprised by the result of Marco Rubio. And look, this is not a People's Choice Award. It's uh, Mitt Romney's <laughs> choice. But these CPAC uh, polls have a dear place in his heart. He won the CPAC poll uh, back, in, uh, back when it was held, when it was still in the primaries. I think Marco Rubio would be a great choice. I think all of those guys that are on there. He really has a deep bench of great candidates to choose from for vice president. And I think, you know, folks like Rob Portman came in low because they don't have as much name ID. Certainly Mitt Romney knows him. He's a solid choice, uh, as is Tim Pawlenty. But uh, folks, somebody like Rob Portman does not have the name ID in front of a CPAC crowd. Hey, Aaron. Yes. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mitt Romney did win the CPAC uh, vote in February. I, I was there for a day. Trust me, when his name was mentioned, it's not like the room was really enthusiastic. <laughs> and so this is obviously a very conservative crowd here. But if you're Mitt Romney, you really want a candidate who can do no harm. And frankly, I think out of all the people on here, and Portman is getting all this attention, I personally think uh, Bob McDonald uh, is a lot closer to, uh, 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 in terms of what Mitt Romney may need, governor from Virginia, Virginia. Uh, the story that he can tell. And so I, I think, that, you know, again, I think so much heat has been on Portman. I think a lot more may very well go towards McDonald once the choice is made. Roland, what about and three, and three of those guys, three of those guys are from very important swing states. Of course. Uh, Rob Portman's from Ohio, Marco Rubio's from Florida, and I used you just mentioned McDonald is from Virginia. I think the geography may also be a factor in this one race. Mm. Uh, Roland, what about Chris Christie, though? I mean, talk, Look, I I mean, mean he's, been, he's been tireless campaigning on Mitt Romney's behalf, endorsed him really early, and, and God, the guy's a fighter. Well, I mean, it'd be, a good, uh, it'd be a good debate there. With well, first Joe. of all, a lot of us in the media love Governor Chris Christie because he is a walking, talking soundbite. Yep. Uh, he, literally, he literally will throw a punch at somebody if he really could. Uh, <laughs> but again, but one of the issues that you have to ask yourself, if you get a Christie, what do you get with that? Also, you have a really charismatic guy in Christie. And then you have Mr. Dry as dull as all get out, Mitt Romney. And so do you want to be in the position where your VP nominee could very well overshadow you? We know how that went last time for the Republicans. It didn't go well. I think Mr. Boring will choose somebody equally boring. Uh, that's a you have to admit, though, you have to admit, though, the thought of a Biden-Christa debate is entertaining and amusing. Just the thought of it.
But ain't nobody voting for the vice president. They're voting for the president, pre presidential race. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. This is such a good one. All right. Thanks so much to both of you. And they'll be back. And next, a show.